We took a look at the data, selected the clips you watched the most, and put them together into this list. Mitchell was driving home from work in Baltimore, Maryland, when he noticed a semi-truck change lanes, then change back. When the semi returned to the left lane, another semi-truck blocked them from accelerating. The semi then turned, lost control, and ended up sideways, pushing a car across the road and into a barrier. It turned out that the semi-truck that had blocked the left lane had slowed down for a police officer who'd stopped to help a motorist broken down in the left lane. Luckily, everyone involved was okay, but we're guessing that truck driver had some explaining to do. What do you think? Who was at fault here? Let us know in a comment. Robinson was driving his Model Y to San Francisco International Airport early one morning when, all of a sudden, he felt a large impact from behind. The car that hit him flipped over and landed on its roof in the middle of the highway. When other drivers stopped to make sure everyone was okay, they found the flipped over car completely empty. There was nobody in the driver's seat. When the police arrived, they started searching for the driver and they eventually found him. He was intoxicated and had fled the scene after the crash. Luckily, both he and Robinson were unhurt. Robinson's Tesla was deemed a total loss and he missed his flight. Jonathan had picked up his brand new Model 3 just 36 hours prior to the crash we're about to witness. It was three in the morning and Jonathan was out driving for Uber. When he entered an intersection, he was T-boned by a red light runner. After the initial impact, Jonathan was confused. To him, it felt like a dream he was going to wake up from. He couldn't remember if he'd had a green light and he had to check the Tesla cam video to find out. It turned out he'd been hit by a rival. The driver who collided with him was driving for Lyft. Uber's insurance is working everything out with Lyft's insurance. The Tesla was deemed a total loss valued at 68,000 US dollars. Jonathan only paid 55,000 US dollars for it, so he actually earned 13,000 US dollars by owning his Tesla for 36 hours. The reason insurance paid him more than he paid in the first place was because the price for the Tesla had increased since he'd ordered it six months before. Jonathan ordered a Model 3 Performance and is expecting delivery in September. Then he'll be back on the road. This submitter was driving his Model Y home from work in Wenzhou, China, and rain was pouring down and pooling up on the road. Up ahead, two cars had stopped behind another car that was parked in the right lane. Just as the submitter was about to pass them, one of them cut into the left lane to go around the parked car. The Tesla missed the car, but it lost control and hit a different one, rolling it over. His insurance provider extracted the collision data from the Tesla, and their final report stated that the Tesla's collision avoidance system had activated after he'd gone around the first car. This caused the Tesla to hydroplane and crash into the other car, which then flipped over. The submitter was also found 100% at fault for the crash since he'd been driving about 50 miles per hour on a 30 mile per hour road. The insurance company also said that if he'd hit the car that was changing lanes, that driver would have been at fault instead. The submitter isn't blaming Tesla at all and personally doesn't think that the safety features caused the hydroplaning. The Tesla was declared a total loss and the submitter has already ordered a new one. Eric was at a tire shop in Michigan and was just about to pay for new tires when he glanced out the window and saw a tornado forming over the building across the street. Everyone in the lobby quickly headed to the bathroom to shelter from the tornado, which was heading straight for them. Fortunately, it turned and went down Main Street, missing the store. Unfortunately, Eric's Model 3 was perfectly positioned to do more than just watch the tornado go by. Debris pelted the Tesla all over, damaging and scratching the paint as well as cracking the glass roof. Luckily, nothing made it through the windows, but this is the third time Eric will be replacing his rear window. The first time was after a big buck hit his car, and the second time was because the rear defroster stopped working due to a manufacturing defect. Eric wanted us to shout out the guys at Bell Tire who do a great job. They're excited to sell tires to Cybertruck owners someday.
Alex's wife was driving their Tesla Model 3 home after work in Madison, Illinois. As she approached a yellow light, she decided to enter the intersection rather than risk sliding on the wet pavement. At the same time, the driver of a gray Nissan Altima made a U-turn, hitting the Tesla on the driver's side and sending it skidding across four lanes of traffic before it stopped in oncoming lanes. The driver of the Nissan then sped off, but not without leaving behind some critical evidence, his license plate. In fact, he also left behind his car's Nissan emblem. Combined with the Tesla cam footage, this all seems to be some pretty incriminating evidence to me. Alex is a Tesla engineer and a huge fan of the safety technologies incorporated in the vehicles. He moved to the durability team a month ago and he's now working on the semi project. Alex promised to send us some Tesla cam footage from the semi. Just kidding, he didn't say that, but we can dream, can't we? Their Tesla insurance deemed the Model 3 a total loss, and the comprehensive coverage will pay off their remaining loan balance. He also said their experience with Tesla insurance has been great. Alex is thankful that Tesla did a great job of protecting his wife and daughter. They escaped without a scratch, and Alex says he's a Tesla customer for life. The following event occurred in California on March 24th. Brittany had parked her Tesla Model 3 in front of LA Beauty Skin Center on Riverside Drive in the Toluca Lake area. That's when Sentry Mode captured this man she doesn't know. Watch what he did after walking up to her Tesla. The LAPD took a report, but Brittany never heard anything back from them. She's now reaching out to the Tesla community for help. Please contact the LAPD or send us a message if you recognize this man. Let's help Detective Tesla close the case. McDonald had parked his Model Y at work in Oakland, California when the driver of a Honda pulled up and squeezed into the spot next to the Tesla. McDonald says he was legally parked well inside the parking lines. If that's true, there's nothing about his parking that should have aggravated the Honda driver. The Honda driver jumped out of his car and walked up to the Tesla, pulling out a knife. He held it up against the Tesla, but then changed his mind and walked to the rear of the Tesla instead. Once there, he dragged the knife across the trunk, creating a thin scratch all over the trunk lid. McDonald contacted the Oakland Police Department and filed a police report, including the video footage. Here's where things get interesting. Before he even heard back from them, he was rear-ended at a traffic light. His entire trunk lid had to be replaced anyway, so the investigation was dropped and forgotten. McDonald never heard back from the police anyway, so he decided not to pursue it. Don't park next to this guy, and if you recognize him, please contact the Oakland Police Department so he'll learn not to do this again. Guang's wife was driving their Model Y in Ottawa, Canada. She was leaving a parking lot and waiting for traffic to clear. After letting a bicyclist go by, she somehow failed to notice a motorcyclist. She almost clipped the biker, infuriating him. In the left camera, we can see the motorcyclist stopped, made a U-turn, and started catching up to Guang's wife. When he caught up and pulled up next to her, he smashed the mirror of the Tesla. The mirror glass cracked and the plastic housing flew off. The biker then tried to get her to pull over, but he was visibly upset and she was afraid to stop. She quickly drove off, but he caught up to her again. She tried to signal to him that she was sorry, but he wasn't finished. Instead of backing off, he kept riding next to her and pointing. In the end, they chose not to press charges against this criminal for damaging property since they know her unsafe turn is what started this whole thing. But they also don't think that justifies him smashing their mirror. What do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. An uninsured motorist versus a Tesla. While driving with their 11-year-old daughter, the owners of a Tesla were passing through an intersection when the driver of a Nissan Navara made a right turn straight into the side of their Tesla. The impact sprayed glass all over the passengers, including their daughter in the back seat. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, but the owners of the Tesla will have to rely on their own insurance to cover the damage to the vehicle. Colin was driving his Model Y in Green Acres, Washington when he was T-boned by a drunk driver who'd run a stop sign. The drunk driver hit him directly in the left camera, which unfortunately caused it to stop working at the moment of impact. 
Autopilot was enabled at the time, but Colin says it didn't seem to react. He thinks that's probably due to the limited visibility of the road on which the other driver was traveling. The exterior damage was extensive, but the cabin only had minor damage. We're impressed by the Tesla's great collision protection. The other driver was arrested at the scene for DUI with a .267 blood alcohol level. Colin sent a request to Tesla for any data they'd collected from the accident. The pillar camera footage would have been interesting, but Tesla said since he doesn't live in California, they don't have to send it to him. The other driver had an insurance policy with only $10,000 US dollars of property damage coverage. Fortunately, Colin has better coverage through his own policy. The Tesla was declared a total loss, but he got a new Model Y performance a few months later and says he loves it even more. Ben was sitting at a red light in Cicero, Illinois when a Dodge Charger pulled up next to him and the driver revved the engine. Ben says it was obnoxiously loud. What neither of them realized was that the Ford that pulled up behind them was actually an unmarked cop car. The Charger driver kept revving his engine, but Ben decided not to look over and acknowledge him. When the light turned green, he stepped on the juice pedal to show the other driver that electric vehicles are king. Just as Ben was approaching the speed limit of 30 miles per hour, the cop turned on his emergency lights and pulled over the Charger. Ben initially thought it was for provoking him to race or excessive acceleration or something like that. But judging by how fast the cop lit him up after they'd started moving, Ben thinks it might have been because of the Charger's loud exhaust. Regardless, this was Ben's first time witnessing instant justice being served. These two boys chose the wrong Tesla to prank. The owner of the Tesla witnessed these two young men make their way across a parking lot carrying condoms filled with an unknown substance. The boys tried to hang them on the car before being alerted by the sound of the Tesla's horn to the owner sitting inside watching them run back to their mamas. Rodney was driving his Model 3 in Las Vegas, Nevada. He was in a left turn lane behind a Toyota Supra when the light turned green to turn left. As the Supra turned, a black Prius tried to get between the Mustang and the other car, smashing into both. Rodney stopped and the Prius driver who'd caused the accident got out of his car and ran away on foot. Rodney called the police and they arrived within minutes. The Prius had been reported stolen and one of the police officers asked Rodney to email him the footage right then and there since the Prius driver's face was visible in the video and they could use it to try to identify him. Rodney also gave the footage to Savannah, the owner of the Mustang. She'd only owned the car for a few minutes and had gotten into the accident right after driving off the dealer's lot. The car still had temporary license plates and Rodney says he felt really bad for her. The lady driving the Nissan was taken to a hospital but didn't have any major injuries. Rodney gave the paramedics his name and number to give to her in case her insurance provider needed to talk to him. Brandon was driving his Model Y in Thornhill, Ontario when there was a big sudden explosion in front of him. A tree fell over some power lines causing a transformer to explode while tree branches fell all over the road. Brandon says this caused a huge power outage in the neighborhood. It looks to me like his Tesla got juiced with 1.21 gigawatts and he's in for a heck of a ride. This is how not to get out of your car. Luckily, there were no dents, just a scratch in the top coat, which the Tesla owner thinks they can polish out. Robert was taking his son and some of his friends to a bar in Seagirt, New Jersey. Traffic up ahead was slowing down for a roadblock, protecting a parade that was passing by. Just as they passed a police officer standing on the side of the road, another driver rear-ended the Tesla at full speed. We can see the shock on the officer's face as the crash occurred. Once he'd realized what had happened, he called it in. 
Let's just say the cops were quick to arrive at the scene of the accident. Everyone involved was okay. Robert found out that the man who'd hit him had just been released from a drug rehab center. This was the second accident he'd caused that day. They charged the man with reckless driving for crashing into Robert. Robert is still waiting to see if the insurance company will total his car or not. We're guessing it's totaled, but what do you think? Leave a comment and we'll follow up with his insurance story in a future episode. It was Luke's very first day owning his new Model Y performance. That night, while driving to his friend's house, they stumbled upon something crazy. The police cars just kept coming. Luke and his friends watched the footage multiple times afterward, trying to figure out what had happened. One possibility is that the guy exited the Maserati on the passenger side to make it look like he wasn't driving the car. Luke says it all happened so fast, they hadn't even realized what had occurred until the guy was already being arrested. They turned around and left the area as quickly as they could, and they had a long discussion about what they'd seen. Leo was parked outside a Target in Alameda, California. When he came back, he discovered that his Tesla Model 3 had been keyed on all four panels of the right side while he was shopping. Leo immediately reviewed the sentry mode clips. Check out what he found. A guy had been walking around his car before pulling out what looks like a set of car keys. He proceeded to drag them all along the right side of the Tesla. He really dug deep to make sure he damaged the paint. Don't worry, the story doesn't end here. In fact, we're just getting started and the story only gets more disturbing. The guy walked back to Leo's car after keying it and started feeling the scratch he'd just made with his hands and not just once. He made a few trips around the Tesla, touching the scratch in the paint each time. Do you think he was trying to rub it off or was he appreciating his handiwork? He walked away again, only to return in slightly different clothes. His t-shirt is still visible under the hoodie and you can see that he's still wearing the same pair of pants. This time, he walked around the Tesla barefoot. He did the same thing to the Jeep parked next to Leo's Tesla. After seeing all of this, Leo knew he'd be able to identify the guy and the car he was driving. Leo suspected the guy was doing this for fun, so he thought he was probably still in the parking lot. He didn't even need the license plate number of the 2018 Cadillac SUV to start scouting the parking lots for the guy. After looking for about 10 minutes, he finally saw the same type of SUV approaching from his right. Leo quickly parked in front of him, honked his horn, and got out to talk to him. To avoid any escalation, Leo called security and they came over not understanding what was going on. Leo showed them the videos and then they understood. Even with security there, the guy denied his acts of vandalism and acted very aggressively toward them. Leo then realized he'd have to call 911. The responding police officers were impressed with the videos, and they promptly found all the clothes the guy had worn in his car. He appeared to be intoxicated and didn't want to come to any agreement. Leo decided to press charges, and the police officers arrested him. Leo's wife thinks the guy must own a body shop in the area and was keying new and expensive cars around town to get more business. Unfortunately for him, Sentry Mode might have saved the day for many other people in the parking lot since he was still wandering around the area when he was arrested. Repairs took one week in a body shop Leo trusts and the total repair cost was over 4,800 US dollars. The car looks as good as new after the repairs. Leo recommends the guys at Go Auto Collision in San Mateo, California, but he sincerely hopes he doesn't have to go back there anytime soon. The district attorney sent him a letter requesting a list of all the property damage, and since Leo caught the vandal, they'll be seeking restitution on his behalf. In the end, the police were impressed with the Tesla Cam feature, and Leo told them this clip would definitely be featured on Wham Bam Tesla Cam. They told him they're looking forward to watching it, so hey there, police officers, we hope you're satisfied.
A complimentary car wash while at work. Today's victim had parked his Tesla close to a construction zone before attending a work meeting. When he came back, he found a dozen sentry mode notifications as well as a puddle surrounding his Tesla. Assuming the nearby construction had caused the sentry mode events, he reviewed the footage to find that the construction workers had caused the system to trigger by attempting to clean his newly ceramic coated Tesla with a bucket of water, dirty rags, and used sponges. When he asked one of the workers what had happened, he was told that a pipe had burst and sprayed mud all over his car. The aggressive scrubbing of mud combined with the soft paint of the Tesla left scratches and swirl marks all along the driver's side of the car. Fortunately, the construction crew did the right thing and offered to pay to repair the damage.